All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. I've got a simple mixed operations problem that has um, subtraction, multiplication, and addition um, all in one problem. It's uh, 8 minus 8 times 8 plus 8 equals what? Uh, if you want to, you could pause the video here, um, but we'll come back and we'll work this one out together. All right, if you remember your order of operations, you know that multiplication, um, if you've watched any of the other videos, you'll also understand that your multiplication has precedence over addition and subtraction. That's how the order of operations works, uh, because multiplication is just shorthand for repeated addition. Uh, so you do the multiplication first. It's 8 times 8, which is 64, and then it's 8 minus 64, and then plus 8, um, equals negative 48. And I'll see people do a lot of strange things here. I'll see people um, trying to subtract this 8 because they're taking this minus sign and applying it to this 64, but then they're also trying to apply it to the 8. Uh, you can't do that. Um, uh, let me make a pen here. It's not written like this. If you had parentheses like this, then you could say 8 minus 64 and then minus 8. But you don't have that, so uh, you can't do that. Um, not at all. Uh, so I want to keep that in mind. And it, it's not left to right. You know, some people will go, well, 8 minus 8 is 0. 0 times 8 is, uh, let this present. Put the pointer back here. A lot of people are going to say 8 minus 8 is 0. 0 times 8 is still 0 plus 8 is uh, is 8, and then they're going to say, oh, man, my calculator even tells me that. Uh, well, you're using the wrong type of calculator, and it's not necessarily it's the wrong type of calculator. You're not understanding how to use it correctly, because there are calculators that are known um, as having immediate execution mode. They're not capable of entering in an entire expression with multiple operations, and then just hitting the equal sign. Uh, those types of calculators rely on you to understand the order of operations and to know that when you're using that calculator, you basically have to do the 8 times 8 first, and then you can um, um, add the 8 and then add the other 8. Um, it, 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 that's, that's how those calculators work. Immediate execution mode um, is not going to give you the correct answer if you try to enter the expression in uh, as it's written. Uh, you need to be using a calculator that uses what's called expression mode. A calc different calculators do have different input methods, and I'll see a lot of people arguing back and forth, well, my calculator told me the answer is 8. And other people said, well, if you use a calculator, you're going to get negative 48. Well, first of all, you got to understand how calculators work and then how to use the calculator correctly. Uh, and I'm going to do a little video uh, and I'm going to show you the difference on a Windows computer between the standard mode calculator and the uh, scientific mode calculator. So uh, we're going to jump over and do that. But um, I want to say, first of all, the order of operations convention is just four steps. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're using PEMDAS or BODMAS or BIDMAS or BEDMAS. Those are just acronyms. You may not even know the acronyms, but you should know that you're going to be solving parentheses, anything inside of parentheses or brackets first, uh, and then you're going to be looking at uh, orders or things like exponents, factorials, uh, square roots. Uh, if you don't have those, uh, you move on to the next thing, which could be multiplication or division. Multiplication and division have equal precedence, and you just solve them uh, left to right in the order that you find them. Uh, division is just multiplying by a reciprocal. Um, addition and subtraction also have equal precedence. Uh, subtraction is just adding a negative number. Um, all of those different acronyms uh, don't matter which one you doesn't matter which one you use. Um, they're all representing the order of operations. You're going to get the correct answer of negative 48. Uh, so now I just want to show you the uh, the uh, calculator results, uh, and hopefully this will help you out. All right, so we are going to do the problem here. It's uh, 8 minus 8 times 8 plus 8 
Now you'll notice already that I'm using the standard mode calculator on a Windows, um, a Windows 11 computer, and it's coming up with the wrong answer here because um, this calculator works in what's called immediate execution mode. Uh, so there, you can't solve it this way. And you're going to run into this problem on cheap calculators also. Uh, if you switch it over to scientific mode, it puts it in what's called um, expression mode and allows you to enter in the entire problem as it's, uh, as it's written. So it's 8 minus 8 times 8 plus 8 equals, and you'll see the answer is minus 48. Um, so it's solving it correctly here. You can see the entire expression, uh, not just this 8 plus 0 that we saw before. Um, so you got to be careful with calculators. The calculators can have different input methods depending on which one you use. Uh, your cell phone calculator, scientific calculators, uh, any calculator with an internal stack chain uh, can, can, ex can take the entire expression can take multiple operations at once before you hit the equal sign and you get the correct answer. Um, but a lot of people will use the wrong type of calculator. They'll use one that does immediate execution mode. Uh, those calculators, um, what they rely on is they rely on you understanding the order of operations. They rely on you doing the multiplication or division before you do the addition and subtraction. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't remember the order of operations. So they're using the wrong calculator, they don't know how to use it correctly, and they're getting the wrong answer. And what they do is they just say, oh, look, my answer is correct because I had my calculator told me so. Um, so first of all, understand your calculator, make sure you know how to use it, make sure you're using the right calculator. Uh, it's not that there's different rules and different conventions, that's not it. It's just this is how calculators operate. Different ones operate differently. So keep that in mind.